Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a great new update for many Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this update hits a specific GoodLock module known as the Theme Park application. You can see that right over here, and it makes it much better. So let's dive in and let me show you exactly what is going on here. Now, before we dive in, if you want to grab this update, there is going to be a link down below. When you click that link, you are going to be at my website. Once you're at the website, all you want to do is you want to scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click the link to download. So when you click this, it'll take you to the store from where you are able to update to the latest version. And if you do scroll down, you can see the update number is going to be ending in 1.8. And it is an 11 megabyte update. And even though it says the update date was July the 25th, I actually got this just yesterday. So you might see the update as well. Now, after the update is complete, let's go back to the theme park. So obviously, it's a module of GoodLock. So first, we are going to launch the GoodLock application. And then we are going to tap on theme park. And that's going to launch the main screen. Now, so as you may or may not know, this application allows you to create themes, keyboards, quick panels, icons, out of thin air and you can fully customize them to your needs now I'm gonna be talking about the update that pertains to the theme so I'm gonna to go to the theme all right I'm gonna tap on create new I'm gonna show you exactly what is new so the first thing when you tap on create theme is you get to select a wallpaper the reason you select the wallpaper is because the entire theme is going to be based around the coloring of the wallpaper. So I am going to be using the current wallpaper for demonstration. I'm going to tap on next. Now when I tap on next, you can see it just created an entire phone theme based around that brownish color, the orangish color of the actual wallpaper. And you can see you can pre-select several colors to maintain a consistent theme but again, all the colors are based on the actual wallpaper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one right here. All right. And I am going to go over here. I'm going to show you something really nice. When I tap on this button right here, I have the ability to change the wallpaper. The problem is in the past, before the update, when I did tap on change, and let's just go to the gallery to pick a wallpaper. And here's a bunch of wallpapers I can select. So if I were to tap on this wallpaper right here, and then I select the area that I want of the wallpaper, that's just a cropping area, tap on done, look at what happens. This is brand new, you get this pop-up. It says, do you wanna initialize your edits? In the past, before the latest updates, it always defaulted to yes, and you never saw this option. Now here's the thing, if I tap on yes, which was always the case before the update, it takes the new wallpaper and actually changes all the colors. So when I go back now, all these colors, the background colors, the theme colors, and all the options at the bottom are gonna be based off of the new wallpaper, which is what some people didn't want. They wanna keep their coloring the same as it was before but a brand new wallpaper so let's use the same example remember this lime green color theme at, at least that's what i'm seeing right here you might see a little bit different color through the video but it's a lime green theme color now i'm going to go and pick a different wallpaper i want to maintain this theme because i like it but i want a different wallpaper so now when i tap on this and tap on change wallpaper. Let me go back to my gallery and let me pick this one this time, this, this one right over here. And I'm gonna tap on done. Now, when it says, do you want to initialize your edits? I'm gonna say no and notice how the actual coloring of the theme did not change, okay? It is still lime green, but my wallpaper actually changed. And now I can save this theme I can give it a name, let's just say S, I'm gonna tap on OK. So that gets saved and I can use that as a theme by tapping on Apply, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do that right now, you can do that, but that's the new update. If I were to go back over here, you can see we have a couple other things going on over here. 
but that was the biggest thing. It says modified to allow only wallpaper changes without initializing the whole theme. We do have some other improvements, app stability and error fixes, but that was the only thing that was actually tangible that we could actually see, okay? One more thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tap on edit, okay? Again, if I tap over here, change, and if I tap on gallery, and if I go to my gallery and pick another wallpaper, Again, let me just do this real quick. Let me crop it out like that. This cropping area depends on the type of the wallpaper, the shape of the wallpaper, okay? So tap on done. I'm gonna say initialize. Again, look at how all the colors change to blue based on the wallpaper. And you can also pick all these different options as well, okay? Various colors from the photo that you pick get extracted and they get dumped right here. And you can pick any one of these guys. By the way, tap on this and you can actually change a lot more stuff as you can see, okay? That's up to you to play with, but I did wanna show you guys this new update where you can now pick a brand new wallpaper without messing up your existing theme colors. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.